All right, what's going on, guys? It's Boss Haunt here. Today, I guess my brain decided that it wanted to give me a scary dream, but hey, at least a scary dream was worth it because I'm able to make content out of it, which today I'm doing it today. So if you're probably wondering, hey, what's up with the thumbnail? Is this a movie? Well, it, it's a well, not really, but it's like a story time by made theme like a movie because well. How about instead of like if being like a regular story time, I actually like have music in the background to seem like it's a, it's a, it's a it's a film movie. But yeah, this scary dream I had it was about this haunted doll that was that was that would watch her every move and making sure like no one touches this gold wrench. This very this dream is very confusing in which we all know, which I'll explain in like this um story whatever. Anywho, grab your soda and popcorn whatever you need get what resource you need to get ready for a movie night and let's enjoy the show So I think we can all agree that dreams are not exactly real. I mean, they feel real, but like when you wake up, you realize, oh, hey, it's a dream. However, I this scary dream that I had from last night, I woke up and I was like, yo, this is actually seems kind of epic. And actually, when I told this to my friends, they told me, hey, this seems like a very good movie title. So I said, hey, let's turn this into a movie. Anyways. This dream took all place, well, obviously it's a scary dream, but this all takes place in a military camp because I decided that I wanted to t participate in the military, so I decided to run with the military camp. So, I go into this military, and at, and at this time of day, we're doing the mile run, whatever. Having said the mile run, it's like a 100 mile run because of the military, they're really strict and stuff. That's when I hear some beeping from a tower, and I'll paint a picture for you guys, which, um, not like actually put a picture on the screen, but what the, what the fort looks like, it's basically this fort with, that's covered in fences, well not covered, but it's like, it's surrounded by, um, fences of steel, and in the center of this fort is an iron building with, like, windows and stuff you know a shelter place and there's a tower on top of the building because i hear beeping and i see like this box with like this light that's flashing but it, every time it beeps so for now i thought of it as nothing of hey maybe this is just an alarm for something or what however 10 minutes later i'm into the mile run i finally finish and then i i, I see that the beeping is kind of getting faster if i went well when as i'm cl coming closer to it and every five seconds a beep um the beeping speed goes faster so it'll be like e e e e e e e e e you guys know what i mean when what I, what i mean right and the sergeant sees me focus on the timer the ticking whatever and he says yo what are you looking at and i point to the tower and, the, and then he goes what the hell is that and then all of a sudden I'll, and all of a sudden it explodes instead of explosion though it's a it's like a flash grenade so there's smoke and then after when the smoke clears there's like this creepy looking doll on the tower that just appears however in my mind i didn't think of this as like this in the, I, for some reason i didn't feel like this was this was a normal thing i didn't feel like this was strange at all until i hear like voices in my head 10 seconds later after this doll appears saying don't sing don't let anyone touch the yellow the yellow wrench and now and i question myself what do you mean by yellow wrench and that's when i look to my left and there's like this yellow wrench well it's actually a golden wrench at the at the corners of like the field and that's when i see someone looking at the golden wrench just like it says yo what is this for and then the sergeant says what do you mean you already know what the golden wrench is for it's for fixing the electricity and I told him, wait, don't touch the golden wrench. And the sergeant looks at me and says, what do you mean don't touch the golden wrench? And I and I told him, hey, uh, I don't think this doll is, well, 
it I, I feel like it's alive somehow because I'm hearing voice in my head saying don't touch the yellow wrench I know this might sound confusing but just don't touch the yellow wrench and for some reason I was just I was able easily able to convince to the sergeant that there's like this haunt there's this haunted soul like in this doll telling people hey don't touch the yellow wrench or else um you know we're gonna haunt you back like i don't know why but this ghost for some reason is just so attached to this yellow wrench but anyways the guy the other armory guy doesn't listen and he goes to get the yellow wrench and he says i don't care i'm just gonna i'm gonna use it anyways because um uh, is it the it isn't the electric not working that well anyways and then he goes over there and then like first in slow mo motion you can hear the word in me saying the word no like no however unfortunately he touches it and that's when the doll that's on the tower snaps her neck as like really fast and then she starts floating towards him really fast and then like the doll stabs the guy's heart and then he dead drops to the ground and i'm just sitting here stunned and everyone else starts like their faces turned white as a ghost not wanting to move because this doll lurch just just killed basically one of our crew members because he didn't listen to us so now we're all trying to think hey, what do we do now so i told well i told everyone well how about we just don't touch the golden wrench because that's what the voice i heard inside my head told me so we decided that hey we're gonna go on top of the tower and just avoid this whole entire thing however because dreams are dreams it this whole entire thing turns to 10 days later and we're still on this tower just um watching the sunset come down and then we're looking at the the river yes there is a river by this base and we're like man i wonder what's happened to this military base it kind of seems dead and that's when we look to our right and one of the guys has the golden wrench and we all just like stare at him saying do you just grab the golden wrench and the guy says well yeah i fixed the electricity and then he and he's and then he just throws the golden wrench out into the river and now we're all like oh you gotta be kidding me one we need that for electricity and two we can't even use that to begin with because well then the doll is, is gonna kill one of us again however this is also an issue because we don't have any more wrenches that look exactly like that to fix the electricity so all of us are starting to freak out because there's no solution to this situation and then the, and then the guy that who threw the wrench says all right you guys one of you guys are gonna go get it or else we're gonna um uh, starve out here however one of the guys for some reason some reason decided that hey it's a good idea. Hey, that's a good idea. Let's go jump to get after to go to get the yellow wrench back. However, as soon as he, as soon as one of the guys starts running and jumps over to the river, the the, the doll, the haunted doll, jumps from the top, jumps up from like the ground that was previously at, onto the tower, and it looks at us, and then it jumps next to where I'm at, like. Literally just dead ass right next to me now. So now me and this doll are looking at each other like it's a it's like it's a staring contest, and I'm freaking out. I feel like I crapped myself two times worse than I should have. And one of the guys, like I said, the guy that went to over to get the wrench, comes up from the water and grabs the yellow wrench and says, "I got it." And ladies and gentlemen, guess what happens? The doll hears his voice looks at the guy he floats towards him and kills him once again just like the other guy that dare to use the yellow wrench so now we're instead of being scared we're all frustrated like oh we gotta be kidding me how are we supposed to survive now without electricity because without the electricity we won't we won't be able to get the water systems flowing in without that we won't be able to drink water so I'm in my room by myself for some reason without anyone and I'm just looking at this golden wrench like that's literally right in front of me. However, what I wasn't paying attention was the doll because I was keeping track of the doll because apparently I guess this dream fast forward when I was bl when I blinked my eye because apparently I was watching the doll and the wrench at the same time to make sure that I didn't touch e t touch either one of them to trigger the um same events that happened to my other crew members and well i wasn't paying attention i want to, I, I went to get up and that's when the and that's when i get up and the doll start starts to look at me and i'm like when you talk why is this doll looking at me and that's when i look down and my foot 
is touching the wrench, the golden wrench. So now, I realized that I messed up. It's over for me. I touched the golden wrench. Now, and, I, and I'm just looking at all my dead crew members, even the sergeant that of the events that I guess that happened when I was asleep, I guess. And I look at the doll just waiting for my fee, fate. However, nothing happens for like ten, what it feels like feels like 10 minutes. And then the doll floats to me and then I I wake up from my dream. Honestly, that was pro that wasn't that was really scary, but it wasn't one of the scariest um, experiences I ever had. I, I would have to rate the ex the scary experience one seven out of ten for the for the amount of spookiness, and I rate it seven out, seven out of ten because it was really spooky. But I mean, not to the to the point where I feel like it's gonna uh, be in my mind for several week weeks. But it did pop into my mind because I guess my mind wanted me to make a story time out of it. Instead of this story time, it, would, it, it, it and I, instead of this being a story time, I'm making this a movie story time video. But um, yeah, um, the lesson here is is that well, none of this is real. But if you are ever in like a dream, and you know, if you somehow happen to have the same dream as me, except like instead of like the golden wrench it's like a different object don't touch the object because then the murderer of like the murderer mystery or whatever is going to target you for your for as their next victim but yeah also just a disclaimer as well none of this is all real it's for entertainment pur purposes only like i said many times in this video and I would appreciate if you guys can press the like button for this um, mini uh, movie I made. I never actually made a movie, but I, I would I guess I can call this a movie because of the thumbnail. But um, yeah, if you guys don't press the like button, then guess what? The girl from the con then well, the doll from the Conjuring is gonna come haunt you forever in your sleep and have you nightmares for the rest of your life. 